In the summer, Coney Island is packed. The rides in the cyclone are jammed. The beaches are crowded with people. In the winter, nothing. There's absolutely nothing. And there's not much going on in the rest of the neighborhood either. It takes a lot to get a grown man in orange clogs and khaki shorts to schlep all the way out to the furthest point of Brooklyn. But I hear that there's a coal oven out there cooking up some of the crispest and thinnest Neapolitan-style pizza in all of America. Totonos, perfect Italian pizza. That, my friends, is worth schlepping out for. Totono's pizza is the closest you'll find to the one in Italy. Thin crust, a zesty tomato sauce, and fresh mozzarella cheese used sparingly. Immigrants rarely had fresh basil. They used dried margarine instead. Totono's has been in Coney Island for 79 years, and very little has changed. People come here because the pizza is cooked in a beautiful brick oven that's fired by scorching hot coals. The heat is so intense, it takes less than five minutes to get a smoking pizza out of the oven. And what an incredible aroma. I mean, it's almost like a campfire. It's the best. Simple tables here, not very fancily set. They serve everything on paper plates with just the simplest of knives and forks. Cookie is the hostess and the owner. Her son Lawrence is the pizza maker, and they're both direct descendants of Anthony Pedro, the guy who started Totono's Pizza way back in 1920-something. Basically, once you get a nice flat surface to it, pound it a little bit in, which I personally like to do. I'll pick it up, and I'll start holding with my hands out this way, you know, to try to Knuckles. stretch out the edges. That. Okay, and I place it down like this, trying to get as round as possible. And then we go for the cheese. We put cheese on first. Cheese mozzarella, first. whole milk mozzarella. Now this is uh, a soft, first. delicate cow's milk cheese. Right, very, very soft. Looks delicious. And then we go for the tomato. Right, now this is consisting of? It's an Italian tomato. That's it. That's it. You puree it. You don't put salt, you don't Nothing. put oil. It, comes, it, it just comes the no, way it is. No funny herbs, no nope. basil, no. Just use a good sauce and you should uh, be okay after that. Now, I notice you're throwing it on a little in the style of Jackson Pollock. You want it to kind of splash a little yes, bit? Yes, you want to splash, you want to come around the edges, and you don't want to pile it on. We, we believe less is better. I agree with you completely on the balance mm -hmm. issues. What we use next is Pecorino Romano, right. which is, we know is salty enough. So right, you exactly. Really don't need to, to any, uh, and that's great, eh? And you just sprinkle it around. Again, you just want to do an even balance of all the ingredients without overdoing one or the other. Brilliant. Poetry to my ears. Then we use a little pure extra olive oil. Extra virgin pure olive oil. Pure olive oil, because extra virgin is a little strong, and it tends to, uh, tends to overwhelm it. Right. So this is the basic Totono's pizza. Right. But if someone wants something else, do there, are there other things you can put on top of it? Well, we have toppings. We have sausage, we have garlic, mushrooms, pepperoni, things like that. But we encourage, to, when you, especially if you're trying for the first time, to have a plain margarita, which is just the cheese and the sauce. The coal oven creates an intense heat. Inside is just this giant kind of a cave environment where the flames are actually licking the roof as the pizzas cook. What that does is create what they call bruciato, or a little burnt around the outside on the frame. That's exactly what they're looking for, and that's what makes Totono's Pizza so special. Taste that char on the bottom there that is just perfect. That is the oven speaking to me. Right. Sauce is sweet and tangy, but not heavy not, and not really not overwhelming. Great pizza. When you take a bite of Totono's, you're getting a taste of a classic Italian dish with just a sprinkling of Italian-American flavor. Next, we head a few blocks down to another Brooklyn pizza.